Hi, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you three different ways you can create an electronic or digital signature in Photoshop. Once you've created your signature, it can then be saved as a file and can be used over and over again. So let's get started. So to begin with, I've just opened a simple 7x5 document with a plain white background. So the first way I'm going to show you is to use the brush tool. So the first thing I'm going to do is just to go down to the bottom here and add a new layer. As you can see here, I've added a new layer with no background. Then I'm going to use my brush tool. Now I'm currently using a Wacom tablet and pen which makes writing a lot easier. Now I understand that a lot of you will have a mouse and this will be less easy for you to achieve but we can still play with the brush settings so that it makes it a little bit easier for you. So I'm going to go over to the brush tool and then I'm going to ensure my colour is on black. I'm going to go up to the settings here and make sure that my size is I'm going to actually go up to 20 pixels and my hardness is 100%. Now if I go ahead and try and write my signature, sometimes it can be a little bit clunky depending on how fast or slow you're attempting to write it. And this is what I said about the mouse, it can be a little bit challenging. So to help out, if we go up to this smoothing tool here, click on the drop down, we've got this slider here. Now if I move this up to about 20%, what that actually does is it slows down your mouse. So if I go ahead now, it actually slows down my mouse and my brush. So it takes a little bit longer for my brush to catch up with my mouse. And what that also does is it smooths out the lines. So I can go ahead now and I can just type my signature as many times as I need to until I'm happy. Make sure you've typed it on this layer one here because then when you switch off the background, go up to the move tool, you can now move this signature around and it will be on a clear background. Once you're happy with that signature, go up to the crop tool here and then you can crop your signature and go up to this setting here and choose the different crop that you want and then you can just crop out any of the background that you don't use and then go up and click on this checkbox here and then once you're happy make sure that your background layer is switched off then go up to file save as and then the crucial thing is here in the format section Click on the drop down and ensure you save it as a PNG file. Then go and give your file a name. And then click save. I'm going to save this as the smallest file size because if you have to add this to a document, then you don't want to increase the file size of the document so much that you can't send it via email. And then click OK. And then we're going to go to our Word document. And I'm just going to show you all three different signatures on this demonstration document. So if we go to Insert, Pictures, From File, and then we're going to click on this file here that we've just saved and click Insert. And then we're going to go up to the Wrap Text icon, click on the drop down and select In Front of Text reduce the size of my signature and then just simply move it to where we want it in my document. You can move this anywhere I like and I can also use this icon up here to rotate it if I want to. So that's the first signature in. I'm going to show you two more techniques and then we can compare the quality of them here. So back to Photoshop. Okay, so we're back to our original document. So for those of you who are struggling with the mouse, the next thing you need to do is to grab a white piece of paper and a black pen or a black felt tip is preferable. Write out your signature a number of times, select your favourite one and then just simply take a photograph of it with your tablet or your phone or a camera and then upload the file to your computer. And then once you're in Photoshop, go up to File open, open your signature document and click open. 
Now, once your document's in, click Command or Control A to select it, and you can see the dotted ants around the outside. Then go to your Move tool up here, and then click and hold down the Shift key, and then just drag it to your new document and drop. Then if we just scroll out, and then ensuring you're on your image layer, click Command or Control T for the Transform tool, and then just click and drag it to reduce the size of it, or increase the size of it, it's entirely up to you. And then click OK. The next thing we're going to do is just get rid of the background, and then we're going to apply a Levels Adjustment layer. So you can either go up to the Levels Adjustment tool here, or you can go across to Image, Adjustments, Levels. So now all we're going to do is reduce the blacks by clicking on the darks icon here and dragging it to the right. And then we're going to increase the highlights by clicking on the highlights arrow and dragging it to the left. And click OK. And then again, once we're on this layer, we can go up to Select and then down to Colour Range. And this dialog box will appear here. Now, it may appear with the fuzziness down to zero, but what we need to do is we need to ensure that Photoshop has selected all of our signature that's coloured black. So we've got this eyedropper tool here. Make sure you just go over and click on the black and then just raise the fuzziness until you can see that Photoshop has selected all of your signature. Now I'm going to push it all the way to the right to ensure that it's picked up absolutely everything it can within that signature and then click OK. And as you can see, if we scroll in, we've got the selection that goes all the way around the outside of that signature. And the only section it's left off is here, and we can deal with that in a second. Now, as you can see from this image, that there's not just blacks involved in this signature, but there's also some blues in there as well. And what we want to do is to cut this out from this white background so that when we put this onto a document, we've just got the black signature. So I'm now going to select a new layer. I'm going to ensure that the selection is still active. Then I'm going to go to Edit, down to Fill, and then along here to Black, and then click OK. Then I'm going to get rid of the photograph that we took underneath on layer one by just clicking the eye tool. And then we can just go in and have a look at the results. Now you can see here that Photoshop's done a really good job of selecting the blacks, but what we have is a lot of whites and greys that have also appeared as well. So what we want to do is just to fill those in. So if we just grab our brush tool and make sure it's on black, our smoothing is down to zero, and then we just go ahead and move our brush tool over our signature, and it will begin to fill in all the greys and the blacks that might have been left behind by the selection. We just zoom in. Now if we just select Command or Control D to deselect, and then anywhere that was a problem area that Photoshop had selected so that we couldn't take our brush tool over it, then we can just now go over with the black brush to fill in those areas. Now you can be quite detailed and if you're not happy with some of the edges then you can just run your brush tool along the edges just to smooth them out. And of course you can use the eraser tool which is here. And then if you're not happy you can just take out some of those edges as well. 
Now the reason that these edges can be a little clunky is simply the way that paper absorbs the felt tip and you will get slightly more clunky edges with this technique but as I say you can go around the edges and smooth them off by using the black brush tool or you can use the eraser tool. Now it's not perfect which is why I'm going to show you another technique after this but if you're happy and you don't really want to go around the edges and smooth them all out that's absolutely fine. Now you've got your layer 2 which again if you use the move tool you can then move this around and again all we're going to do is to go up to file, save as, go down to format and save as a PNG file and then we're going to name this one Colour Selection and then click Save. Again, save as a, the smallest file, click OK. Then we're going to go back to Word, Insert, Picture, From File, Colour Selection, Insert. We go up to Wrap Text, In Front of Text, Reduce the Size, and then just move that to where we want it in our document. And there you have it. If we just have a look at the quality, you can just see that there are some slightly clunky edges, but once it's reduced down, this is an A4 document, so once it's reduced down, you can't really see those edges too much. So it really depends on what sort of quality that you want. And finally, I'm going to show you one of the better quality finishes that you can get in Photoshop. And this is using the pen tool. So if we go back to Photoshop, and once again, we've got our image that we've used the levels adjustment tool on, then all you need to do is to use your pen tool, which is here. Now, if you don't know how to use the pen tool, then you may need to go back and go through one of the many, many tutorials that are available online. So I'm going to go ahead and just use the pen tool whilst quickly trying to explain the technique as I go through. So with your pen tool, the idea is to trace around the outside of your signature. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to click my mouse and then I'm going to click and drag and create a curve and as you can see it's got these two handles left and right. If you hold down the ALT key and click on these handles they will move and adjust the curve. If you press down the command or control key whilst hovering over the central point you can actually move the central point. So now you can go around your entire signature clicking and dragging to make some nice curves around the edges. Of course it's better that you come to the inside of the signature line but of course you don't have to and the great thing with this is you don't have to be terribly accurate because the idea is to shave off all these bumps and lumps and just to create a nice smooth curve. So as I go around, I just simply click and drag. And of course, if you make a mistake, just hit the Command and Z key to go back. And then just keep clicking and dragging to go around. So now I'm going to speed up the video so you don't have to watch me go around the entire signature in real time. Now I've just gone around there really quickly. Once you come to the end here, just click on the first mark you made and then right click and go down to make selection. I'm not going to feather this at all because I want a nice sharp edge. Make sure it's on new selection and click OK. 
Now, if we were to fill this selection with black, obviously we'd fill in all these white areas as well. So now what we've got to do is just, whilst this is selected, just continue to go around these inner sections and delete them from the selection. So I'll just go around this first one for you just to show you what I mean. So we just go around this one quickly and then join us up to the first one, click inside the selection, go down to make selection and then instead of new selection, just move your mouse down to subtract from selection and then click OK. Then go ahead and do that with all the other white sections of your signature. Now all I'm going to do now is go up to select, save selection and I'm just going to type signature, I'll just put sig and click OK. And that way at any point if something goes wrong you can simply go back up to the select area click load selection, click on the drop down and then you can just go down to SIG and then click OK. That way your selection now is saved, you don't have to go through and do it all over again. So now my signature's selected, I can go down and select a new layer and then I can go to edit, fill and again go to fill with black and click OK and then just uncheck the layer one and zoom out and then deselect your signature by pressing command or control D and then if we go up to the move tool again we now have a signature with perfect smooth lines and again once you're happy with that you can crop it hit the checkbox, make sure only this layer is selected, go to File, Save As, PNG, I'm going to save this as Pen Tool, and click Save. Again, the smallest file, and then we'll go back to the Word document. Again, insert, picture, from file, pen tool, insert, wrap text, in front of text, reduce the size, and just then move it to where you need it to be. So if I now just zoom in, so now you can see how each of these three signatures look. So we've got the one that we did with the mouse, the one we did with the simple colour selection and then we've got the one made by the pen tool. Now as you can see the one with the pen tool doesn't matter how big or small I make it it doesn't lose any quality whereas these images here have a slight fuzziness to the outer edges which when they're reduced to this size, it doesn't really matter that much because you can't really see. And again, that one. So clearly the pen tool is the more superior image. And again, once you've created the file, you can use it over and over again. But then you have these more simple options that are quite quick and easy to create. So I hope that's helped you today. Any questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comments below. If it has helped, please subscribe and have a great day.